Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and thank you very much for your likes and thumbs up and shares and everything and your loyalty. It's much appreciated and also welcome back um, and I hope you're going to enjoy this reading. Remember this is a general reading and if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign and welcome to the new people that have landed on this channel. I hope you will enjoy it too and I hope you will sub, uh, sub subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I've made a video if you don't know how to do that because you have to also change your settings in YouTube and your mobile device. Then you will get notified and do this for all your favorite channels then you should be getting notified by YouTube. Um, I just found this out by accident um, as I was mucking around on the telephone. So that's why I've made a little film for you so that you know how to do this. Okay, uh, we're going to have two moons, on the one on the 1st of October and the second one on the 31st. Um, the 31st is Halloween and it's also known as Samhain in the pagan calendar and we've just moved into autumn and the Mam Ma Bon festival and that's also a festival and uh, that's the harvest festival in the pagan or Wiccan calendar and it is also the autumn we've also come into Libra and there is a little video on the Libra energy have a look at that one uh, Libra stands for harmony and peace so let's get started this reading is from the 28th to the 4th of October and some cards are coming popping out a lot they're very positive readings at the moment like I said Libra stands for harmony and peace and that is what is also showing in the cards like the nine of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles the ten of cups the ten uh, the, the the nine of cups uh, the Sun comes out you have the Sun and also justice is coming out the energy is changing and I hope this also has to do with the Kovic let's keep on praying and meditating that the energy will change and is changing let's get started um, cancer first of all you have the justice card the justice card means that justice will be done if you have any legal uh, issues or judicial situations um, you might be, not have been in uh, in balance so now you are in balance to start off with this week you could be meeting a Libra Libra is really uh, also coming out popping out much more than usual in the cards so you could be meeting a Libra then you have the eight of Pentacles you're getting recognition for your hard work and your um, determination perhaps you've been working really hard to get a judicial situation uh, recognized and you've got the recognition because you've done your preparation you have endured a lot and justice will be done you'll get what you deserve and I think uh, you are going to get some money uh, because we have bounty so this could be the institution the, the institutions are always rich so that is the more fortunate one perhaps an institution or a municipality might be giving you money or a loan or a grant or a listening ear in this case if you are going to court or yeah if you're going to court and you're seeking justice you will get a listening ear that could be as well or a helping hand in something from somebody more fortunate than you if you're less fortunate you will be receiving a listening ear a helping hand or a gift 
and if it is if you are more fortunate then you will be doing it to somebody that's less fortunate than you because you are a loving caring nurturing sign then we have the eight of cups you want a new beginning and you can see that the dawn of or the morning is breaking the sun is coming up to something new okay this card basically means you want to go away have excitement and you want to have adventure um, and you're bored of the same routine you don't want to slog that hard anymore you want something that you love to do um, perhaps now that you have a grant um, if you have applied for a grant you can study uh, start a new study as the eight of pentacles also means starting a new study so you will be getting your financial return um, and you will have your bounty in the future and for long term so don't throw away old shoes before you get a pair of new shoes okay you've got eight eight here so that is a double number that is quite significant as well and in, have a look in google what eight eight is 88 okay it could also be 10 past eight okay or uh, something 88 could be a bus number could be a house number if you're considering buying a house who knows you've also got the lady and the lady is the Empress and the Empress has green fingers as she represents Mother Earth she plants seeds and she nurtures them until they have fully grown and are blossoming and so she can harvest and she will she does this with every single season so she will have something returning to her again and again you might have made an investment and you, it didn't uh, bring its return for some reason or rather and you had to seek legal advice now it is returning its profits you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions and also the time is fertile to make new investments perhaps a new job a new house modernizing a house flipping a house perhaps this you could be doing this with a partner because here I see two people okay and we do have Libra and we do have Libra again as the lady the Empress uh, uh, represents Libra as well it could also be a Virgo because you've got the um, is that Hierophant? Yes, that's the Hierophant. You've got the Hierophant, so no, not a Virgo. This could be the Taurus. Okay, Virgo might be some uh, significant. Perhaps you started something um, in the eighth month at the end of August, because you've got two eights here. Um, so you might have started something in Virgo. So, yeah when messages come out there sometimes are uh, words or fragments and then you have to I have to try to suss it out and make it into the picture so that you can understand I feel um, I feel this could even have started before the summer I feel that you might have started something before the summer or applied for something before the summer June um, and uh, it's come to light or the truth will be seen justice will be seen from the eighth month at the end of the eighth month which is August um, right up till um, Libra so that is until the 21st 22nd of October so in that time perhaps since the since the end of June 
uh, or right at the beginning of June because that is Taurus. Taurus is uh, uh, May number five also. Um, it's quite significant. May is five. The higher front is Taurus, so right in the time. Uh, we've got six here, so that's June. Um, June 8, 8, 8. I said 8. Where did we? Yeah, 8 August. Then we've got 9. Uh, no, that's 11. But we've got Libra. That's Libra. And Libra started at the 20, 21st, 22nd of September. Right up until uh, Virgo. Virgo. So uh, Virgo is the end of August. Yes, and we've got eight. So that is that is yeah coinciding quite nicely. So something could have started <coughs> in Taurus, and I'm getting more or less at the end of Taurus. I don't know why. Most probably because of Gemini, the six. So something uh, could have started. You might have planted seeds like the 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 empress you might have planted seeds at the beginning at the beginning of gemini at the end of taurus you could be meeting a taurus as well the hierophant is somebody that is a, a person that knows the letter of the law he's the head of an institution so you might be dealing with an institution this could be, or a municipality, this could be a, spir a spiritual institution like the church. You might have went to see uh, whether if there was a date free to get married and uh, you, there wasn't a date free until um, the time of Virgo or Libra. Okay. Um... So that is coming out in your story. You might even uh, be getting recognition from an institution. Okay, this could be a school, this could be a university, or the municipalities. And I think, I think Taurus had this as well. Um, because, uh, like if you applied for a grant. Uh, so that you could go to school or university in September. That could be it as well. It is now granted. It's now granted um, because the sun is also shining on you. And not only that, this could also be uh, a doctor. Uh, a hospital is an institution. This could be a school. This could be anything could be the courts, it could be uh, the tax return, you might have filed for a tax return and you're seeing it coming in because the gift and the institution, okay, and justice. You, ha uh, you have the empress, she might find out that she's pregnant, then you need to go and seek advice from your GP, okay. Now, if you do get pregnant um, in Libra, or the end of Virgo, it could be a Gemini coming in. So, it could also be the end of the month of May that you're giving birth. You ha do have two cards of birth. Okay, so you have the Sun, and that means also fertility, birth birth of a child, a birth of a project, going on to the a next level in a relationship or in work. You will be getting more money uh, from work or from your own business. You've got recognition. People are noticing you because you're in the spotlight. Where you, When you are in the spotlight, something has also been illuminated. So you might need... Um, more information or advice on a situation or a question that you have from an ad a professional advisor or a father figure or a mature man that you respect. It could also be official, official uh, recognition or official advice that you need as backup. 
you do have the Sun so that is also a Leo so Leo Virgo Libra okay so that's Leo Virgo Libra is prominent in um, your reading and number three you've got number three here so that's also three months so something very important uh, I have seen this in Gemini as well and other readings number three is prominent and quite significant in this week's energy it's I'm taping this on the 24th of September in three months time it will be Christmas so you might not see the return or the dividend uh, or rediment at this time it could be at Christmas Wow um, like I said going up to the next level so there could be marriage there could be promotions but there could also be uh, moving home buying a house going on holiday to a warm country if you're buying a house now then you'll be moving in three months time and again you've got the three cups here I just see that now it's the five of cups but you've got three cups fallen you've still got two cups standing so don't give up don't look at what you don't have look at what you have and multiply it and make it into ten because you have come very far and you're being recognized you got recognition here and recognition there at the beginning of the week and at the weekend now you've got yellow you can wear yellow you can sit in the sunlight you literally and, fig and figuratively by meditating or contemplating and evaluating you can drink lemon you can wear yellow because you've got the card sunlight yellow angel feather happiness awaits you the angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic there are bright days ahead for you don't give up okay and we have from the queen of um, the queen of uh, the moon oracle card you've got number 11 the angels are giving you signs look at this card and look at this card you've got number 11 fear don't fear it will all be alright look at all the birds that is flying around you that looks like that's eight birds because you've got one in the clouds here that reminds me of the eight of wands you're getting a different perspective or you already have a different perspective because you seek advice from somebody you got more information so you know where you're going you're going to get what you deserve boom you have help don't worry and don't fear for the worst just ask for help when you need help the time of courage is here fear is only useful if it teaches you something you must examine whether your fears are old or new useful or unhelpful fear blocks the flow so if you feel that something is blocking you then it is your own fear don't fear you your back has been covered be assertive don't just look in front of you look around you and this is the first time I'm seeing it you can see it as a key for winding something up you hold the key okay and also it, it, if you look at it 3d it looks like the champions halo okay or the crown of a champion like the wreath on the six of wands victory victory is yours okay cancer remember you hold the key don't be too scared to um, ask for help and remain positive honest and transparent and you'll stay in balance I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and stay safe please like and share